Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rott, I'm your host, and I'm here with Eric Gilliland at the Audubon Country Club in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email, and it comes in from Alan, and here's his question. Chaz, I'm having lots of trouble hitting my long irons on the fairway and off the tee. I also have problems hitting with good consistency. What is the key? Eric? Allen long irons plague a lot of golfers, whether they be low or high handicappers. So in a second here, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what might be causing your problem and try to save a few strokes for you. Well, Alan, thank you very much for the question. And the thing, I'm looking at your email, and I, what I'm so happy to see is that Alan included his name, his question, his size, and he is right-handed, and his full email, his full mailing address. So if he has chosen, and actually he's from Scotland. So see, we do send these around the world. So that's all you've got to do is send me an email, make sure it's got your name, full mailing address, right left handed, your size, and the question, and we do it. And like Alan here, we will send him a glove, or we'll send you a glove as well. Please send it to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Please leave your feedback in iTunes and in YouTube, and please keep your feedback and questions coming. You know what would be even cooler? I haven't asked this before, but please send us some, que- uh, send us some photographs of you wearing a bonnet glove, or even some video. Send me some links with video. And we will actually start incorporating those more into this podcast because I think that's important that we actually get to see the footage with the question being asked, with you asking the question. So how about that? How about those grapes? Let's do that. Raising the bar. That's right. Raising the bar. Okay, let's do that. So um, let's go join Eric on the course now to see how we can resolve this issue. But first, remember, if you're looking at buying a glove, please purchase a bonnet glove at your golf store on the course or at your local retail outlet or at bonnetgloves.com. Now, let's go join Eric on the course to resolve this issue with the irons. Alan, we're talking about this difficulty with long iron play, and like I say, a lot of players struggle with that. It's a shot that that I see people wanting to just get it over with. And what I mean by that is they get over the golf ball and they're so afraid of the club that they have in their hands. I'm going, oh gosh, I've got this four iron and I don't want to be here hitting this shot. I really wish I had another club. So what's the result? It's a quick backswing and a quick follow through and I've gotten this shot over with and the, the result's terrible. So what I want to do here, Alan, is, is swing with the confidence that I would have if I had a wedge in my hand. So you're going to grip it, get comfortable over the shot. The ball position is a little bit different when I've got a longer club. I want to get it a little bit more toward my front foot. Reason being, because the club is longer, it takes it a little bit longer to bottom out. So I've moved my ball position forward, and my only thought is I'm going to swing this as easily as I would a wedge. So my thought going back is low and slow. I'm trying to get as much tension out of my swing as possible, just taking it back low and slow. And I'll bet if you checked yourself and you checked your your, uh, backswing speed, it's probably pretty quick. So get out there, just think low and slow drive that ball down to your target line, just swing it like a wedge and see what happens. I think you're going to find that your results with your long irons are a lot better than what they were before. But if you have any more questions concerning long irons or anything else to do with your golf swing, check bionicgloves.com. There's a huge library of information there at your disposal or contact your local PGA professional. But I'll bet that bionicgloves.com does what you need. Thanks for the question.